Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow FX once again, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate the installation process for our Photoshop Pro Pack for Loop Deck devices. Now I'm going to be demonstrating the process on a Mac system using a Loop Deck CT device, but the principle applies the same if you have a Loop Deck Live device and if you're on the Windows operating system. The only difference with the Windows operating system is where exactly the keyboard shortcuts go. And we'll jump over to Windows when we get to that point to show you how to do that part of it. So here we are in uh, LoopDeck's new uh, version 5.0 software. And I will say at the time of this recording, they just released it last night when I'm recording this. And currently on the Mac system, installing our Photoshop Pro Pack file results in a crash of the LoopDeck software. So hopefully by the time you're viewing this video, a fix will have been implemented and you can import as normal. So I'm going to show you two ways how to import. One is assuming that the Loop Deck software is fixed and you import it through version 5. And the other option is to import through version 4 and then open in version 5. So here we are in version 5. Totally new interface that they've got built here. And there's different ways of working. So to import a profile, we go to this. Uh, we go to the profile pane at the top here. Click on it, drop down box, and we're we're going to scroll down to the bottom here to import profile. So you click on this, it opens up a dialog box, and we're going to navigate to our downloaded folder that you downloaded from Sideshow FX. And inside is a Loop Deck profile folder. That's where I am right here. And uh, whatever operating system you're using, we're on the Mac currently. So I would import this file here which is for the CT and if you're working with a live device you of course import the live profile. So if I double click this and import you'll see it asks me if I want to import this you say OK and then we end up crashing the loop deck software. And when we relaunch the software we can go to our profile and we see it listed here but there's no icon associated with it and if we click on it, nothing happens. If we click on the menu beside it, it just goes to a default. So it's not actually been imported, even though it said it was successful. So I'm going to actually stop Loop Deck and restart it. Open it up again. Open up the profile and you see it's not actually listed there. So with this bug that's in the current version 5.0, if it did not successfully install, if you're watching and the bug still exists, this is the way you get it in. You go to this button here, the switch to classic UI. You say OK. And it switches over to the old interface. And now we go down to the gear button down here. We click on profile, import, navigate once again to the correct profile, import. It'll tell you it's successful. You say done. Now we have the Photoshop Pro Pack now installed. Now we can switch back over to the U new UI. It launches it. And under our profile, we see it listed here and we can activate it. And there we go. So that's a bit of a workaround until they, they fix that bug. But hopefully by the time you're watching this, the first process of just directly importing it through version 5 will work for you. Now we've got this loaded on our device, however, a lot of the keys are not going to work uh, as expected because they've been programmed with a keyboard shortcut file that we need to install. That keyboard shortcut file is of course listed under keyboard shortcuts folder in the pack you downloaded from Sideshow FX. We open this up, it's divided into Mac and Windows. So on the Mac side, this is where it's going to go. And you can see the file path here. We also have it listed in the PDF that's included in the download. So your, your hard drive, users, your username, library, application support, Adobe, your version of Adobe, that you, of Adobe Photoshop that you're using, and in the presets folder. And in the presets folder, there's a keyboard shortcuts folder that's where you drag and drop this into that keyboard shortcuts folder. Now, if you're not seeing your library folder on the Mac system, a lot of people have it hidden. The Mac system will hide it by default, but you can access it by holding down the option key, going to the top menu here of the finder menu, 
Click on Go While Holding Option and you'll see the library folder listed there and you can access it that way. So over on the Windows side, I'm going to show you where to put the keyboard shortcut file. So in the folder you downloaded from Sideshow FX, inside of the pack is a keyboard shortcuts folder divided into Mac and Windows. We go over to the Windows folder and this file we need to drop into a particular place. That location, and it's listed in your PDF that was included in the download, but I'll show it to you here. It's under Users, your username, App Data, Roaming, Adobe, and your version of Adobe Photoshop that you're currently using. I got 2021 here. And inside of this Photoshop 2021 folder, we go to Presets and scroll down to the keyboard shortcuts. You'll take the file from the Sideshow Effects pack and drag it into this keyboard shortcuts folder. And once you launch Photoshop, you'll be able to select it. Now if your app data folder is not visible, I'll show you how to make it visible. So you'll go to this PC and we'll just scroll down to our C drive here. Click on C drive, go to the view tab and we're going to go under options. We're going to navigate to the view tab and we want to make sure that we have under the hidden files and folders that this is selected, show hidden files, folders, and drives, and that will make your app data folder visible. If you can't find app data, that's likely not activated. So just click that, click apply, okay, and you should be able to access your app data folder. Now once you've got the keyboard shortcut installed, you're going to launch Photoshop. You're going to go to edit, keyboard shortcuts, and you're going to see it listed here in your set dropdown. We'll go over to Sideshow FX Pro Toolkit, and now we have this shortcut file loaded and ready to go. Now all the shortcuts that we've programmed for the Loop Deck device will work as expected. One other thing you'll need to do, the Loop Deck software does respond to its own plugin that it installs into Photoshop. And you can go into Photoshop under plugins here. If you don't see it listed here, mine is listed here, you can go to Browse Plugins, it'll open up Creative Cloud, and it opens up the Plugins section of the Cloud Marketplace. And you can scroll down to Loop Deck for Photoshop. I've got it installed, but if you, if you don't, you'll see a Get button there. You just click the Get button, it will install it for you. And once it's installed, it, it will list it here. Now one thing you should be aware of, that currently every time you launch Photoshop, you will need to just go here, Plugins, Loop Deck, and click Loop Deck Info. I'm finding that the device just doesn't respond very well until you click this. And you only need to do it once unless you stop and restart Photoshop. You just, you'll have to then just go Plugins, Loop Deck, Loop Deck Info, boom, done. And then just close it and you can work as normal. So that's it, the pack is all loaded up and ready to go. Be sure to watch our Photoshop Pro Pack for Loop Deck guide video that we've got listed in the uh, description below where we go over all the details of how this is constructed and built and navigate you through all the different pages. And we also detail how you can customize this to your own purposes. So I encourage you to go and check out that video so you have a good thorough understanding of everything we've rolled into this pack. So that's it for now. Thanks very much, guys, for downloading the pack. Hope it helps you out in your workflow. Until next time, talk to you soon.